Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super super stoked about this look. Um, I have not worn red lipstick in like a while so I am just feeling it. Oh my goodness. And I have like this matching, I got the matching reds. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it a lot. I haven't worn this in forever. So this is just your classic red lip and wing. I didn't do get too fancy with the eyes. I just did a little bit of crease color. So I wanted to do this look for a long time. I wanted to do classic like this combination. One thing I do want to say before I get into the video is I used to have this favorite favorite red lipstick and it was the Stila liquid lipstick in the color Fiery and it was blue undertoned loved it because blue undertone reds make your teeth look whiter and they just they go with my skin tone better and I think they changed the formula and it like smudges because I've tried it in the store so if you guys have a favorite red lipstick blue toned not blue toned whatever it is leave it in the comments because I want to know what your favorite red lipstick is so I can shop those and look at them um it doesn't have to be liquid lipstick it can just be like regular but anyway let me know the brand and shade and everything in the comments so all right, I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and get into the video. Let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to jump straight into the video, but I already filmed me putting this primer on because uh, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I actually didn't already film it, I already did it. But this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter eyeshadow primer in Invisi Pink. I, so I just recently bought this. This is the only thing I own from the brand. I think I saw someone talking about this. I think it was Kathleen Lights, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so it's really good. The only thing is it's really sticky. So that's, that's good to me. I don't think you should sit here and apply your eyeshadow immediately unless you set it. So I'm just going to take my uh, Fit Me translucent setting powder and I am just going to dust it all over another thing about this primer is it is super drying so if you're one of those people with extremely oily eyelids like this is probably gonna get you through the day the next thing I'm gonna do is just go straight into the crease so this is gonna be a really simple look um, I have my uh, Sultry palette right here, and I'm using this shade right here called Twig, I believe. Yeah, Twig. And I have this kind of pointier edge crease brush from Morphe M441. So I'm going to take a little bit on my brush. So I'm tap the excess off. I just have a little tiny bit, and I'm just going to go right in like this. I'm going to try and keep my brush, my handle like out instead of like this because there's less surface area of the brush touching then. And I'm just going to go slow with this process and just build that up. Alright, so now that I've kind of got this look that I'm going through it for, I'm actually just going to take a, this other crease brush with no product on it. I just washed these. And I'm just going to really kind of blend it out some more. Just to avoid any like harsh lines or too dark areas. Okay, I'm going to take this other brush and just add a little bit in the outer corner again. Just barely. Then I'm going to go back to blending with my clean brush. I'm just kind of going all over the place because I don't want any like patchiness and I just want, I just want it all blended as much as possible. Alrighty, now the last thing I want to do for this is take a little bit of a darker brush. So this, well it's quite a bit darker but I'm not going to use a lot of it. So this is like dystopian, it's like a dark chocolatey brown. I'm going to get a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm only going to use it just in this outer edge right here. So I'm not going to use a lot, I'm just going to slightly darken up my outer, the outer part of my eye. 
Although I already set my eyelids earlier, I'm going to go ahead and just take take a brush and take the just the very lightest shade in this palette. It's called Fresh. And I'm just going to take it and just put it right here. Take it and put it on both of my eyelids on the outer edge in. So looks like that. I really like it. I'm going to just kind of blend these colors in with it a little bit. Since I have a make white handy, I'm just going to slightly remove the little bit that was under there. A little bit of like fallout or whatever you call it. Alright, now I'm going to go in with another newish product. Pretty new. It's the Roller Liner Eyeliner. So I was super excited about this because I love the mascara and I've been meaning to rebuy the mascara. So they came out with this. I bought both. So anyway, I'm going to do a nice classic wing with this. I'm just going to start right here. Kind of get the length that I'm looking for. Try and clean it up a little bit. Make sure it's all the same, like, um, I don't know, even edge. Okay. I'm going to take this about three-fourths of the way up the line. It's kind of just a guess, but like about that. And then I'm just going to create this triangle shape. So. And then after I do that, I try and work them together and make them look kind of seamless right here. Okay. And then really you've kind of kind of got it once you did that. But you just want to be careful and still not like move too fast. You want to fill that all in. Okay, so this is kind of the look that I like. And I think that this part's easier, but I'm just going to keep dragging it across. Now you can go as thick or as thin as you want on this other part. I like to kind of do a gradient um, from over here, so I'll kind of continue the line and then thin it out a little bit closer to the like to your tear duct area. And I know some people think like maybe pulling is bad, but the problem is if you go do a little strip and you don't you don't like pull it, you're gonna get little ripples. So kind of do this and kind of go back in and smooth it out. All right, so I've done it again. I've already primed my face and not recorded it. Thought I was recording, but I used this Maybelline Master Prime. Hydrate and Smooth Primer from the drugstore. I really like how it feels on my skin. So it's very hydrating and it doesn't feel like I'm just putting like a watery base that doesn't have any purpose on. So it feels really nice. Next I'm going to try out this L'Oreal True Match. I've used it before but it's been a while. So it says it's a shade W2. It's kind of looking dark but we will see. So. Alright, I don't know if I like it right now, the color of it, but I also got the Morphe sponge to try out, so I've been using it for a little while now. I kind of like it. Um, I wouldn't say it's better than the Beauty Blender, to be honest, but I would say it's one of the best that I've tried other than the Beauty Blender. Um, I do really like this flat edge, though, so that is a major benefit. <laughs> So now I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. And just put that under my eyes, forehead, and chin. Maybe a little bit right here too. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I usually use a flat edge for most of the concealer, but then when I get right here, I used a rounded edge. I think that this is the hard, hardest area to blend, and I really need to like buy a little like buffing like concealer brush or something for that. I probably have one, but. So I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder again and set my under eyes with the flat edge of this really quick. I know you can't like see it crazy on the camera. Um, there is an excess amount but it's not as quite as much as some people put when they bake but I have dry skin so I don't need that much. I'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush and kind of step my cheeks. To be honest, I'm not going to leave this on there very long. I'm just going to dust it off and use it on my face. No baking is like a huge thing, but when your skin is as dry as mine, it's not always beneficial. I do like it though, at times, and with certain powders and certain looks, but... Oh, this is like a little kabuki brush. It's from Sony Kashuk, which is sold at Target. I haven't used it in a long time. I found it under a dresser or something and washed it. <laughs> and I forgot that I like it. So, I'm just going to finish up my face with a quite regular routine. I've got the Tardis Pro palette here. I'm using the matte shade for contour, the sculpting shade. So my Tarte blushes, my Crown Pro brush, angled brush. I'm going to take a breathtaking today right here. This, I'm just going to lightly put it on my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend it out real quick. And I'm going to go in with highlight. I'm going to go with the shade Lit from this palette. I don't use this one a lot. Just kind of more gold looking. And that's it for the face. Now I'm going to go back in my eyes really quick. I got this new brush. And this is a bullet crease brush from Morphe. It's the M321. Now I'm not going to use this in my crease. Wow, it feels pretty nice actually. It feels softer than I thought it would. I'm going to take that shade twig that we used in our crease earlier. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it like this. and get my under eye area with it. So then I also got another brush. This is a smudger brush and it's the M213. It's really tiny. Like it's a baby, baby smudger brush. And I'm gonna take the dystopian chocolate color from earlier and I'm gonna run that real close to my lash line. All right, so just a couple steps left. I'm going to Take my brow pencil and just kind of clean up my the end of my brow. And then I got my clear brow gel right on there. The last thing to finish up our eyes is the Royal Lash Mascara. I just kind of go in like this first because I am weird. <clears throat> All right, and then I'm also gonna just cut my lower lashes. Come to the last step, which is the red lips. So I'm starting out with the eyeliner from Edge Beauty, the Edge Beauty. This is Iconic Lip Liner in Racy. 
So this I think came from Dillard's. Now they don't sell this anymore. I'm sorry. Um, I have the matching lipstick, and that's what I'm going to use today. But um, if you can't find it for some reason, then I have this Stila Beso one. And these two are about the exact same color. So, um, I normally prefer blue undertone reds. I don't feel like these are, but I haven't found any that I love lately. So if you have any, let me know. So I'm just going to take this liner and line my lips on the outer edge. Part of the reason I like to use a little planner for like this kind of thing is you can make sure that you like the shape and you can make sure it's even before you go into the, the little lipstick because it spreads way faster and can be messier way faster. So it's harder to correct. So this is the lipstick from the Edge Beauty. It's off, It's in the shade French Riviera. So what ends up happening if I don't line them first? So I end up sitting here and lining them with this. So that's okay too, but it's less stressful this way. So this is the totally completed look. I just kind of feel like it's a classic like wing red lip look. I also have the red nails right now. So I'm just feeling it. And I got this shirt. My mom picked this up for me from Victoria's Secret. And it's not that exciting I guess. But I, I'm excited. It says pink like embroidered right here in black letters. But I don't think you can see it. I'm like I got like the sleeves rolled up. I don't know. It's not that fun, but like it's fun. So, all right. So, um, if you have any comments, suggestions, yada yada yada, put them in the description or no, the comment section. Uh, I will try and link the main things I use in the description box. So, yeah, I think that this is pretty much it. I hope that you like this finished look. If you have any questions or, like I said, comments. Make sure to leave them. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.